The topic of this video is intervals, inequalities, and number line graphs. Let's look at some problems. Convert the number line graph into an interval and an inequality involving x. Okay, this is a very special type of collection of numbers where we can see that the green shaded region is caught in between two values. The most important word from the sentence that I just said is between. This is a between type inequality. It says we want all of the numbers between negative 7 and positive 3, including negative 7, but excluding positive 3. Okay, let's go ahead and write our interval first. This is actually very easy. Remember that an interval always goes from smallest to largest, which means on a number line, we're looking for the leftmost shaded number than the rightmost shaded number. The leftmost shaded number is negative 7. Negative 7 has a bracket symbol on the number line, so we put a bracket in our interval. The rightmost shaded number is 3. There is a parenthesis symbol at 3, so we put a parenthesis in our interval. All right, great. There's the inequality. Excuse me, I apologize. There's the interval. It's actually pretty easy to write an interval from a number line. Now let's look at the inequality. Let's again focus on this word between. When writing a between type, as an inequality, you literally want to put the variable x between the two numbers that are shown, which would be the negative 7 and the 3. Then the only thing left to do is to put a comparison type symbol in between them. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. You might recall from a previous video that x represents any shaded value, like for example, 0. If I asked you to compare 0 and 3, and I said, which one's bigger? I hope you would say 3. Well, since x represents any number in the middle, when I compare x and 3, it's just like comparing 0 and 3. x will be less than 3. Any value that is in the shaded green region is less than 3, because it's to the left of 3. Now, what if I asked you to compare 0 and negative 7, and I asked you which one's bigger? It's my hope that you would say 0 is bigger than negative 7. So since x represents any shaded value, such as this 0, we know that negative 7 is less than 0. Therefore, negative 7 must be less than x. And because of the bracket symbol, we actually write less than or equal to. So x is in between negative 7 and 3. And it includes negative 7, but it excludes 3. All right, let's look at our next example. Convert the interval bracket 1, comma, infinity parenthesis into a number line graph and an inequality involving x. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the number line. We know that an interval tells us the smallest number first and then the largest number last. So that means that our shading starts at the smallest number, 1, and goes forever to the right to our largest number, positive infinity. We need a bracket at 1. So we make the bracket at 1, we shade to the right, and we put our arrow to indicate that this goes forever. Okay, now we want to write our inequality. The dividing line between unshaded and shaded is 1. So we're going to write our inequality with an x and a 1. Now to figure out the symbol that goes in between. The shading is to the right of 1. Therefore, x is greater than 1. And because it's a bracket, we'll actually change that to greater than or equal to. Okay, we've now solved both of these problems.